YouTube. It's been three weeks since my last confession. So this video might take a little bit longer but bear with me I'll try to go as quickly as possible to cover all the questions. Now first one is from Shorty Pipe123. I don't know why you'd name yourself Shorty Pipe but <coughs> the question is saying uh, he's recently tried making a round duck shoot out of 3mm plate. I have made a 3, 3D modem using conical folded plate then unfolded and I want I can't seem to edit it. We'll get to that. I'll answer that later on in this video. And then we have this guy here, Almir Santos. I have this error. Anyone know how to solve this? Template values not found. That is most likely, I haven't come across this problem, but that is most likely because. Uh, you're missing folders when you install the program so just try reinstallation and uh, see if that helps and that's the only reason I can think of I've not come across this problem so I don't know uh, how to solve it but my best guess would be reinstall it and see what happens because it seems like you're missing some uh, important information and we're also going to answer this one how do I model uh, a plate into a vertical wall and can I read the question okay now <coughs> and then there's also one more question I'm going to answer which is it was sent to my email basically what that question is is uh, you want to achieve this on your bill of materials when you make the drawing and I'll address that too uh, and as you can see here, he says he wants, he needs a token to change the weight summary or whatever. Okay, now I'll address all of that in this video. Now, without further ado, the first one that I should address is, let's see. Mm, I'll probably address the vertical wall one first. Where is it? Hmm. What was that? What was that one? From? This one. I'm starting. Uh, still. Oh, this one at the very top. Okay. So now, now, oh, you have to understand that in advanced steel, you don't have every single connection you don't have every single connection that exists you have some and then from those some you can extrapolate you can modify to make your own connection and that's what this this particular connection requires so first of all we get the one that's actually closest to what you're looking for which is that one uh, in bed plate and select your beam uh, select uh, additional references yes we'll select the wall as the reference uh, right click and now you have your actually I'll, I'll make it 2d wireframe so that we can better visualize okay so now we're going to uh, double click that and let's uh, change the plates the plate size so total just make it a foot by a foot okay and then we're gonna uh, you, uh, change the studs well we don't need to change the studs we just add we just add one more stud in the mix so that there's two studs that's embedded into the wall and you know do what you want to do here change the uh, uh, sizes and everything and when you've got your basic structure there you can now close that and then you go to another tool which I have maybe introduced maybe I haven't but it's this one where you just put plates on uh, uh, on beams 
and it's self-explanatory that you can see it and that's under the custom connections so you click that one uh, as you can see we're only given the option of using an angle with that uh, first connection type so we'll click the beam uh, select reference point we'll say yes and our reference point will be the end of the beam so it will come from there so one side and if we look at it side view if we look at it in the side view we have something like that so we have that's the plate uh, that's the embedded plate there and that's the angle now after doing that uh, we also want uh, actually before we go on I should get rid of this one and that one will come into play later so we just uh, crack uh, we'll get rid of that one okay and let's look at it in the side view again so we have uh, our plate our angle and our embed plate and our studs in there and this this takes like uh, a minute or two but since I'm talking over it's gonna take a little bit longer than that okay so uh, and then we what else say oh yeah we probably need uh, a clearance there from the wall oh no no no, no that's the wrong one that's the wrong one angle not the angle uh, uh, cut back that's what it is cut back okay so now the beam has been cut back from the wall one one uh, one uh, inch and uh, we can put that back to zero so after that is said now we have our connection the way it should look except having that angle in there we don't want that angle so first thing you're going to do is delete that that joint box and delete all the worlds let's just redo the worlds and delete the angle too so and make sure you have in this beam display type you have your features turned on so that we have that uh, green cutback line and then now we're just going to weld weld the plate to that plate and select the weld point there pick a weld whatever okay now we have that we have made that connection and of course you can add bolts to that of course you can add bolts to that say okay we'll add bolts to that connecting the plate uh, we'll just put it up to there okay and then distances will modify that mm, we'll say in the x intermediate distances three in the y intermediate distance is three okay we have our plates and our bolts and everything is set that's the connection that we want now if you've got many places to insert this connection i've used this in a different video uh that's uh, where is that i just have to find it oh there it is create connection template okay so you click that and you select beam with end and the input beam is obviously that one and then we'll give this name and we'll call it uh, uh, embed okay we'll call it embed and uh, we'll click that to select what properties uh, 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 we need for that connection so we need everything there and we'll right click and now we have our join box and that's our new connection and this is why I had now the second beam okay we'll just uh, pull it up now mm. that second beam because now I'm going to show you how you can add it to the other beam there so you've got another beam so you just go to uh, uh, insert connection template and select our embed click OK select the beam boom you've got your connection so now <coughs> I'll, even, I'll, I'll get rid of 
like that so we can have a better side view of what we just uh, copied there yeah it's exactly the same you've got your clearance you've got your bolts whatever everything and that's the connection template and you can go on to use it like you know like a normal connection but that's your own custom connection and that answers question number one question number two I'm going to move on to after the vertical walls uh, this one I've answered pretty much mm, this one about the one about the plates uh, unfolded plates uh, you can't edit it okay fine so this is our this is our conical plate and we'll go to realistic mode and we just change that to unfold okay now we we'll just take that view there so you're saying you're having trouble modifying this part okay now we'll, we'll just do a simple modification we'll do that one and this pretty much just makes a hole in the plate so you click there you click the plate you want to make a hole into click the point at which you want to make into and then that's it now this is the interesting part this We'll turn it back to 2d it's got when you unfold it it's got different segments and you can't physically select each segment but as you can see it's got different segments and you can only modify one little segment at a time so like you saw the hole is on this side but it's not on this side so if I wanted to modify this 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 section here I'd have to redo that again uh, selecting this section and voila the section is modified then we'll go to realistic just to uh, make sure okay okay we'll go that section and that section oh, we'll go a little one in the middle there oh no 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 this one is just uh, we can continue that to there okay there we go so now we've modified the two sections right now now the magic is in Okay, I'll just delete that and I'll recreate the conical thing uh, uh, what determines how many sections you have is before you make it uh, I'm getting a phone call hold on okay you click contour select the first contour right click contour select the second contour right click now this number here is the one that determines how many sections you have in a folded so if you have the least amount of uh, 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 forceps in there you have a bigger area to modify but if I put say like 36 now when you unfold that you can see the sections are really small so you have a hard time modifying that so that's the simple answer how much time do we have 13 minutes uh oh okay i'll answer the off camera question in a different video for now youtube